Hello everybody and welcome back to another video inside of my Minecraft survival world. So, in the last video, I drained out this huge water cave right now. Just this absolutely huge water cave. It took a very long time, but it is done now and that is very, very nice. So what I'm going to do now is... So I have these four corners all marked out right here. I'm going to dig all of this out, kind of like what I did with the lake. This is going to be kind of like the, the big dig part two. So I'm just going to dig out this huge chunk of land right here. And so, and dig until I reach this big cave right down here so I can expose the cave to the light. Um, I'm probably not going to do any terraforming around the edges. I'll just uh, dig... Dig out the big square and assess what needs to be um, done here. I'm going to guess that a lot of terraforming is going to need to be done to kind of blend in the big hole with the cave. And also do a bunch of other different things. So yeah, this is going to this is gonna take a pretty decent amount of time. So I'm going to actually, I'm going to go and get some chests um, for... Uh, all the materials that I get because I don't want to have to go all the way back down to my base each time um, that I fill my two shulkers in my inventory. So I'll just I'll just get 16 chests and then place it around in that area over there. And so yeah, I think this. It looks like it might be a little... I don't know if it'll be more digging than the lake or not. And the thing is, is that it looks like a lot more. Well, actually, no, it doesn't look like a lot more, but it's also deeper. But at the same time, there are a lot of caves and that kind of stuff in this area. So, yeah, I don't know. So, I'm just gonna put down all of the chests right here and yeah that should be enough so uh yeah i'm just gonna get digging now
All right, now there is a gigantic hole in the ground now. So yeah, this this is the thing here. So um, I'm going to look in the cave. I didn't really look all that much in the cave, but um, yeah, this kind of, it kind of works. Except the thing is, is that I think it might need to have a little bit more area kind of dug out in this area right here. It's obviously not going to be... A, an exact rectangle shape like it is here. I'm definitely going to make a ton of adjustments. But, um, yeah, it's so far, I'd say that this is a pretty decent shape. You know, it's actually probably better that I didn't, um, dig farther into the mountain because now I can kind of just go out a little bit and then go back into the cave, like right here. And then, so yeah, I really, I don't have to worry about all these different layers i only have to worry about the top layer on each side so for example i need to make sure that this kind of goes in with this layer right here just goes in like that and then on right over there it goes into the roof of here not right here so yeah i would say that i don't know exactly what i'm gonna do but i'd say that this is pretty decent this this room the animal room may be a slight issue though i'm not sure so uh yeah this cave has a lot of light going into it now or at least this side does this side not so much and um yeah i think that's all that i'm gonna be doing in this video right here because i mean i i honestly this was a lot more digging than i thought it would be as you can see the many, many, many layers of blocks that I had to dig out. And I also dug out majority of the water cave right here. So, hmm, you know what? I mean, actually, I, I've been spending a lot of time just looking right here. See how the, it looks? It looks a lot different now. You know, I should probably get rid of this big chunk of stone right about... You know this right here that's kind of going into the library i think i'm gonna do that so yeah i'm just gonna i still have the beacon up so i can just use haste to to um to mine this out and i i do my pickaxes did almost break both of them did i did do a little bit of trading with the villagers and i was able to repair them a decent amount but yeah so the my silk touch pickaxe with which is the mostly damaged one was almost broken at one point but i repaired it and then i used it a ton again and that was low again so yeah i, I did a ton a, a absolute ton of digging and you know there's a bunch of gravel right here so it's a little bit annoying all right i don't know why but the whole cave being opened up, it kind of makes the cave look even bigger than it is. Probably because you can see all the way up to the surface. Imagine I dug in from a mountain, then this cave would look extra large, or well, extra deep, because uh, you I dug farther down. But now, as you can see, this big chunk of stone is now gone from the library, so yeah, it's kind of, it was blocking a pretty... Uh, a lot of you. Um, so it also kind of gives me a better idea of what I want to do and kind of sees, makes me see what I'm working with. So the library, it is kind of cutting it a little bit close, being right on the edge right here. I kind of, a part of me kind of want to, wants to make this kind of be in the cave wall. And then have a window in the uh, in the bookshelves right here. But at the same time, that kind of takes away from the library's atmosphere. So I really, I'm really not sure what I want to do with this. So yeah, I'll just, I'll just decide later. This is all I wanted to do in this video, and just build this gigantic or dig this gigantic hole. And I also sometime want to, um, uh, replace all that obsidian with water. Um, it will take a really long time, but it'll also be pretty useful, because if I fall down or something, I don't have to worry about taking fall damage or anything, because there's just gonna be water right there. I do, I do really want to make 
um, make that all water, but I also, what I want to do is kind of make it sort of like a, yeah, like a pirate's cove. I, yeah, so I have the pirate cave down under here, and then I want to make a pirate's cove down there, and I want to make this giant pirate ship, and you know, it'll, it'll honestly, it'll be pretty awesome, I think, uh, assuming I do it. So, yeah, I might have the pirate's cave connect to it somehow, in some way. Where is the cave right there? So maybe, maybe the cave right here could maybe go out into the cave area right here. And then there could be some kind of, I don't know, ladder or uh, platforms or something built around. And then it, those platforms can be connected to the cave, which go into the pirate's cove right over there. I think that'd be pretty cool, but, um, but yeah, like I said, I'm just gonna figure it out later. And also, here's all of the loot that I got from digging all that, and yeah, it's a lot, especially a lot of coal. I got a lot of coal and copper from that. Oh, I also have some more coal right here. And so, yeah, this is going to take a very long time to uh, just put back into my um, into my storage room. And it's also going to take a lot of shulker boxes, since I use shulker boxes to store stuff that I have a lot of. So, you know, I might use the extended storage room to for dirt, but at the same time, it's kind of... I mean, well, I have so many shulker boxes of dirt and stone and cobblestone, so it, it honestly, it'd probably take a lot more space than I think, so I'll probably just stick to shulker boxes, I'll probably, I thought I'd be set for shulker boxes for a long time, but if I keep doing things like digging these giant holes, I'm, I'm not gonna have shulker boxes for long. Alright, now I'm going to place down the beacon back on its the lantern in the museum and uh yeah i think i'm gonna end off this video here also seeing the map has kind of reminded me i've kind of forgotten about the map for the past few videos but i'm thinking maybe one episode maybe the next episode that i work on the big hole maybe i could do a little bit of terraforming or something like that or maybe um getting rid of all the obsidian and then I could also do like a small area right here. So the 3 by 5 area right here. I'm thinking I might do that. But uh, yeah. You know what? The map probably, probably should have been kind of flipped like this. Because the snow area is over in that direction. And the, the plains area is over in that direction. But it's okay. I don't really feel like flipping all the maps anyways because it'll all get messed up and stuff. So, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video, and I will see you all in the next one. Goodbye.